continuing coverage tonight on a murder case in Calhoun County where a six year old was killed last week. The child's father, Joshua Clark, has been charged with the capital murder in the case and is now in custody at the Calhoun County Jail. ABC 3340's Kyra Purvis joins us now. And Kyra, we reported last week that this is the second child lost to alleged child abuse for this family since 2019. Yes, Muriel, it's that fact that had ha has had a profound impact on this community. Back in 2019, the mother of these children was arrested. That case has yet to go to trial, but now we have this situation. Now, members of the community have been working together tirelessly to ensure six-year-old Jesse McCormick has a proper burial. Money is being raised to pay for his headstone, along with the headstone of his younger brother, Enzo. Now, Jesse McCormick died a day after being driven to the Northeast. East Alabama Regional Center by his father last week. According to charging documents, Jesse died after being hit with a belt or a hand, meaning the in injuries were intentional, leading to the capital murder and aggravated child abuse charges. I spoke with police today and they tell me this tragic situation with two siblings being killed just years apart reinforces the need to be vigilant as a community. We all have the same questions, you know, how were things missed in this and did someone see something and I would you know, make the plea to the public that if you see something on a child, then we know the difference between discipline and abuse. Adults know that difference. The child may not know that difference. If it's abuse, we have to intervene and we want to save these children's lives. And unfortunately, this is the case where we were not able to do that. And we do know that there was a third child born to McCormick and Clark. I have been trying to get details from Child Protective Services about where that child is, how they are doing. I've also been trying to figure out if there was anything that was done or could have been done before these kids were put into the custody of Char Clark to ensure their safety. Right now, the organization says they have no comment. 